All right, guys, now part of covering the library module in detail means that we should spend a few moments on the actual menu system. Now, I don't want to spend too long on the menu system because basically what you see for the most part in the menu is just duplication of all the different functionality in the actual module itself. And every module actually has a different menu. So if I click on develop, you'll see that the menu is actually going to change. All right, so let's go through each one of these menus, and we're going to cover each one in a separate video. And really, the only thing that we're going to talk about is just the stuff that we're not going to be covering in the actual module content. So things that are notable and things that you can only find or only access from these menus are what we're going to discuss. So let's start first with the file menu. Now in the file menu, really, the first notable item that we haven't covered or aren't going to cover in detail is this optimized catalog. Basically, if you notice that your catalogs are becoming really large, um, and not large like a thousand or two thousand images, but like several thousands of images, and it's starting to run slow, well, you can optimize it, and it'll take a few minutes to basically organize and optimize uh, the entire catalog, and it can actually help Lightroom, your Lightroom catalog to run faster. And there is a warning that says that you will be unable to use, use Lightroom during this process. So just remember that. So if you hit optimize, it'll start the process. You can always cancel that. If you click optimize um, and it'll, it'll say in the top left the progress, you can actually cancel that. Now, my catalog is tiny right now because we're just using the tutorial catalog. So instantly it said your catalog's been optimized and we're good. All right, back in the file, the next item that's worth mentioning is this plugin manager. Now, in the plugin manager, this is where you can control all the default plugins that come with Lightroom and as well as add additional plugins. So every plugin here is actually default except for this HDRFX Pro which came with my uh, NIK software. So it came with HDRFX Pro. And uh, if I want to add additional ones I can click add to manually add them. Typically when you're installing additional programs that support Lightroom plugins it will install those plugins for you. But if you do ever want to disable one of these plugins, oh, this photo, Photomatix one is also not a default one. This is one of the HDR Photomatix soft uh, plugins. If you want to default a plugin, just click that plugin, go over here, disable. Showing in Explorer is actually going to show you the location of where that plugin is stored. All right, now plugin extras is actually going to give you some uh, options uh, that come with those plugins to actually, you know, just. It depends on the functionality of those plugins. So right here we see an option, the plugin extras to export to Photomatix Pro, which will take my selection and export it and prepare it for Photomatix. So it's really going to de depend based on your you know plugins that you have installed. If you don't have any plugins other than the default ones, then this should be empty. Okay, everything else in here we've pretty much uh, talked about or we're going to talk about in detail. One of the things that we haven't mentioned, these print uh, settings right here, print and page setup, are just going to take you to the print module, and we're going to cover that later. All right, so let's go on to the edit menu.